Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Endless Legend. So, we are working on building our seed storage. We do not have enough dust to, to do much there. We could try to build more military units, but I don't think that that really is necessary quite yet. Um, it's about time, I think, to just wrap up the turn. Except that, um, yeah. Collect the next Armenian Empire under your control. Yep, we're doing fine. No movement available. I find it easiest actually to go to the uh, the military screen and then you can see the movements available. That whole thing. We could rename our armies if we wanted to, but we'll go ahead and end our turn. And it should be immediately back to us. We could attack these people, um, just out of curiosity. We'll move here. And then if we were to interact with them, again, we could attack. If the village is a minor faction, it will be pacified, but will not bring other bonuses until it is rebuilt. If we don't actually want to do that, we would probably be better off parlaying with them. Um, and anyway, this, this army is going to explore and head straight over to that other thing. We found an emeralds deposit. And luckily there's an extra temple ruins on our path to the illuminated one as for part of our quest. Let's grab our other unit and go finish this explore four ruins quest by searching here. We've encountered another new minor faction, the Haunts. An echo or ghost effect of the ancient wars, these beings appear to be animated remnants of ancient intelligences, a desire and purposes unknown. We gain science per pacified haunt. Your search was worth the effort. We, we found 40 dust. And we completed quest number one. Okay, the, uh, the outcome, you marvel at the works of ancient wonders. We've gotten our 15 die. Sounds great. We have a new quest. I'm not going to read every single one, because it's a bit too much text for my liking, but new objective. In a region that belongs to your empire, pacify at least one village of a minor faction, and then assimilate them. The reward is we get visions of glory. Though not superstitious, wild walkers have put some faith in signs and omens. As each new building rises in your empire, your people are energized by a hopeful future that is growing before their eyes. So the effect would be plus five influence when a city improvement is built on wild walkers. Plus five influence when a region improvement is built on wild walkers. So that would be a pretty good um, empire effect to have. Obviously we're going to do that. I think you'd do that almost no matter what. But um, what do we got here? It's a glass steel deposit. Probably going to have this guy kind of go around in that general direction. Still got two movement. We've uncovered another new minor faction, the Hernus. These are, these are itinerant tribes that follow herds and crops according to the seasons. Skilled foragers, accustomed to living off the land, they are well known for their belligerence and their skill with the bow. Plus 5% attack. Okay. So we've we found quite a few of these people, that's what these little cities are. We've got the haunts, we've got the delvers, that's all fine. How are we doing on movement? We already take care of the other one? We did. Two more turns for the public library. And since we do have 120 dust, 128 would allow us to just buy up the seed storage. And I feel like getting a seed storage out right away might be really valuable. Let's end turn four. The population of Kua Usk has grown to two. Cool. So now because we're at population two, something cool happens. When you have, for every two population that you have in a city, you're allowed to build this burrow. It's an expansion of the city, and we're able to place it to add three more of these tiles, in this case, to our area of influence. So if we wanted to, we could grab any of these other things. Of course, it does take 150 production, 150 industry, to actually finish it, which at our current production level would only be, uh, it would take 25 turns, but it's a, it's a really good improvement. Eventually, we're going to want to do that. We do not want to salt the earth, that seems like a bad idea. We could build another settler, but um, I don't think we want to do that yet either. If anything, let's just have the Founder's Memorial queued up, and probably the city system as well. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead, we're going to buy out the seed storage. Just get that thing done right away. Six more turns, we can have another person. We could go for more production with these people, but um, I feel like just getting more people could be useful. Of course, now that we have that improvement next turn, we're going to have a lot of population growth, which would be quite nice. What are we doing on movement? Alright, so you, sir. Let's get these Fidsy things off. 
Got our glass steel deposit. Let's uh, let's have you work walk around this way. Found another ruin. Let's go check it out. You've encountered another new minor faction, the Sisters of Mercy. Plus five percent health regeneration per pacified sisters village on Empire. We have a new quest, Lust for Loot. Ancient texts and scientific studies say that some locations are interconnected. By successfully activating triggers in these places, you can uncover increasingly important treasures, but only a hero can do it. And once you start, you will launch a countdown, after which the chain vanishes forever. Use a hero-led army to search the location indicated on the map, being 20 influence. We have 15 turns. So, sounds to me like this army is going to go there and then head up there. 15 turns, we've got plenty of time. You still have one movement. Since we know that that army is going to work its way back up that way, eh, it's probably still best to bring this guy through. Got an earth tower here. New quest added, Master of Luxury. Aruga, Auriga, sorry, is rich with resources, both natural and magical. Hieroglyphics on ancient ruins indicate how certain luxuries can provide powerful bonuses to your empire, above and beyond the wealth you can get from trading and exploiting them. New objective, build two extractors. And if we do that, we'll get an augmented extractor. Alright. Sounds good. We'll try. We discovered the Hernus, uh, Hernus settlement over there. One more turn, we'll have the public library. Again, that just gives us the ability to build the public library. We don't actually have the option. It's not going to be built for quite a while. We do have some luxury resources, though. We've got 15 dye, and this dye can be used to give us a boost. It takes 10 dye to give 5 approval and 50% influence on cities for 10 turns. I don't feel like it's really worth spending that yet, since we don't have very much influence growth to begin with. So we'll just kind of hold on until maybe we finish the uh, Founder's Memorial, at least, and get the influence to two. Maybe even the sewer system would be nice. Then we'd have three. Three plus 50% would be 4.5. Maybe that even round up. I actually don't know how rounding yet works. Okay, so we've met some factions. We've got quests. It's all good. We are set to go. Have we ended this turn? Have we seen the, the turn with the... No. That's next turn. Seed storage now complete. Got to research. Empty queue. Seed storage is complete. Good, good. Okay. So, do we want to research the shaman? The ability to make a, a shaman would be nice. It's a support unit. We could also just do military science. 60 city fortification. An extra slot for militia. Plus two science on terrain with science. Well... Most of our tiles have science, so that would be eight science increase. And when we expand, a lot of these other tiles have science too. So we could expand into the into the forest area and get a ton of of science research. That could be interesting. Or aquapulvistics. Pul nah. Empire Mint, just get more money. That sounds pretty good. Money can be used for a lot of things. We do have a quest that wants us to make extractors. What was that quest again? Quest is F4. Master of Luxury. Built two extractors. It doesn't seem to be a... Uh, their timer on it. Hmm. There's the timer. 14 turns. Been one turns. So it doesn't mess it does not mention turns, so I think we're good. We can just kinda do that whenever. In that case, I want to focus on um let's do like language. So we can talk to these people that are nearby us. And I'm very excited to see how much more food production we have. Now, so we have 13.8 uh, now from city improvement and then minus 4 from consumption. So we're getting lots of bonus food production from the, the building. 
if we look at the city, we should be able to see a summary page. I forget exactly where to draw that up. This is the constructible improvements. It's not what we're looking for. There it is, right here. Browse. City management. So the improvements list. We've got a palace. What to do dust. And now we have the city hall. And then we have seed storage, which costs us one, one dust per turn. So this only helps us out during the summer, the, the 10 main food boost, and then 15% all the time. 29 to 49 turns until summer ends, so it should help out quite a bit with population growth. Let's see if we can pull one of these guys off. Yep. We won't necessarily slow down at all if we do that. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll go for the three turn growth. And you are going to have to... Did it say, uh... Show location. There we have it. I was going to say, I thought we had time. So we did it. Our reward was break wall. Wait, what? I thought we already had one of these. <laughs> Does that mean we have two? That's interesting. No, I think we uh, just got it twice, somehow. We don't actually have the ability to build it yet, but... Okay, well, it's a good thing we have two of them. And then we can search it normally. Got 30 dust. We've reached level 2 for our hero. Cool. Build the public library in one of your cities and your scientific knowledge will grow. Reward. Okay. This is a new quest. Just build it. The reward is... Already researched. Kind of an, I don't understand it exactly. What does that mean? So current quests. So wait, build the public library. And the reward is a public library. That makes sense. <laughs> what are you talking about, game? Okay, we'll figure it out soon. You still have all of your movement, so... We'll head over to there. It did take two movement to go through that cold forest there. And... I think we're pretty much set to end the turn, right? Now, I don't know yet if building settlers very quickly and trying to settle more often is a good idea or not. I'm not so sure. Kua'usk. This is the region of Kua'usk. Here. So, I don't believe you can actually have more than one city in another region, but we'll get to that point when we get to that point. Okay, we've already explored these ones. There could be, and most likely are, defenders there. We just can't see them. They're outside of line of sight right now. Let's have you head through this way. And I continue to explore and check stuff out. And then you, uh, we're just going to tell you to go there. Well, we might as well search this. Five glass steel. It's a strategic resource. Cool. I'm sure we can use that to some effect at some point soon. And we'll tell you to continue. So it's a little unfortunate these guys are going to walk right by each other, but... It's worth the effort. Indeed it was. Now there was one thing that just popped up that said that uh, our character has leveled up. So if we inspect them, we go to the skill tree. I believe we should have a spare point. Yes, yeah, skill points left one. So we can basically go through this, this technology tree. We've got faction specific, common, and then class specific. 
Hero skill. By carefully using the sharing with a wakeful animal, equines are the best. The wild walker hero can forego sleep, allowing them to change assignments rapidly. So at level one, we can move him around from one unit to another quite often. Level one improves search on ruins, Indiana bones. Hmm. Or plus one movement on units. Naturally fleet of foot, the hero can teach all the units of the army to move a little more speedily. That sounds quite good, but I don't know. Let's look at tier two and see if that can influence our decision at all. Plus one production, if we had them in charge of a city. Experience per turn is always a good uh, um, always a good modifier. I think we're going to go with the movement. Let's apply. Does that apply retroactively? Do we get a free turn? Do we, like, do we get free movement now? Yes, we do. Cool. Well, on your way then. Quask is still working on Language Square. It's going to take six more turns to finish that. We do have some glass steel. No production yet. We're still working on the Founder's Memorial. I'm pretty good about ending the turn here. Okay, City's still not doing much. One more turn, we'll be up to three pop. That's pretty good. Do we need that person working that? We don't. Let's get some more production out of it. Fairly certain that any excess food would just overlap, but... Mycordia. An anomaly. We have found another Sisters of Mercy minor faction. There's some undiscovered territory here. We'll go through there. Check it out. Some more Sisters of Mercy. Okay, a little bit of Terra Incognita right there as well. Nothing to worry about though. And that's it. I mean, it's a pretty quick turn in this case. Population 3. Nice. Now we're 9 turns away. I'm wondering if maybe just continuing to really try to pump out people would be nice. On the other hand, all that juicy production. It's so good. I think we'll go for the production. Alright, and let's go finish this quest. Use a hero-led army to search the location. We've gotten 20 influence. And, uh... 15 titanium. Cool. And that actually, I don't think, unveils like we can search again as well. 15 spices. New objective. In order to do this correctly, you must first be in control of the region. Colonize the region Gleka. Okay. We received a quest. So we got a quest from the ruin. It's interesting. So we are in the region of Kua'usk. Colonize the region Gleka. That's this one here. Well, I suppose we will be wanting to make a second colonist soon. You still have plenty of movement. We do have a titanium deposit up there, but more importantly, I think one of the quests rewarded us with some titanium. Did it not? Oh no, it, it didn't reward us. We actually have to complete it. Yeah, use a hero-led army to search the next location. The next location will give us 15 titanium. Okay, where's the, uh, the location? So if we go there, we can get 15 titanium. Well, that's definitely the direction you're going. With your five movement. Because that titanium will allow us to equip that cool shield. We fully revealed this area. Let's head over to this general direction would be good. And I think I'm going to to take a break here. So thanks for watching as always. I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you again soon.